god, my god. Holy oh, my god. So I guess Hey guys, you may be wondering what this is. Well, those of you that may or may not know, back in 2016, there was a massive forest fire here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It destroyed homes, businesses, and much of the Smoky Mountains. And now, almost four years later, there's still remnants of what took place here. This is an abandoned condominium place called the Highlands. Natalie Rentals Real Estate. This was affected by the fire. This is actually a much larger structure than what's actually seen here. I learned about this from actually taking the Ober Gatlinburg ride. The um, tram attendant was telling some information about it. And this was a really tall high rise place here overlooking downtown Gatlinburg. And it was affected by the fire. And this is all lots of it here. It's just a shell of a building. Everything's pretty much gutted, stripped. It's just cinder block walls and openings. It is posted, it is for sale, but we can't go in. But I wanted to show you this and a few other personal residences that are no longer here, but you can still see where they stood. There's still foundations, still gates to their driveways, still the keypads for their entryways. But I just wanted to make a short video to show you what it looks like almost four years later after the Gatlinburg Forest Fire. Now obviously, this would apply as the open door policy, but I'm not going to cross the gate. There is actually a camera above the door pointing at me. But you can see the busted windows. People have been in here, but I wouldn't advise going in there. But there's nothing worth seeing, even inside. It's just cinder block walls. But you can see the pamphlets on the wall there. And just, you know, remnants of how it used to look. But it, it's almost like um, an apocalyptic building, post-apocalyptic. You know what's kind of crazy I just noticed? These trees are actually covered in Christmas lights. I think they've been there since it was in last operation, probably four years ago. I'm surprised they're still intact as much as they are. But we're gonna go up the road now and where that cabin is. There's a few more I wanna show you along the way that are no longer here. But I'm actually, before I do that, though, I'm gonna put up an image right now on Google Maps showing this location I'm standing at right now. You can see the good proximity size of it and how it's kind of uh, up here on top of the mountain peak. On the other side of it, though, is Ober Gatlinburg, the tramway, looking down into downtown Gatlinburg. It's a one heck of a view. So just across the street is another abandoned complex. Look at that. That one's a bit more intact, but again, the upper areas, upper floors are gone. But you can still see what was once here. And look at the gorgeous view in the distance. Let me back up the view a little bit here. So two residences right across the street from each other, destroyed by flames. And much of the growth here is barren, dead from the fire. But it's amazing that these are still here. Don't know if anyone will ever buy them. But nonetheless, it is pretty cool to see, though. So here's more remnants. You can actually see the charred fence posts. And a swimming pool, but they are 
doing new construction here. So the property is being, I guess you could say refurbished, renovated, restored. But a lot of these properties, as you'll see, are for sale. This one across the street is sold. But it's good to see though that they are reutilizing the property so it's not just sitting here as a vacant lot. But it's pretty neat to see though how it's part abandoned, part modern. It's a nice little swimming pool though. But Destiny was here in 2017 and she loves Michael. Now across the street here is a much more expansive wealthier property just by the size of it and what is actually here now again we can't go in there because there is cameras in use private property marked you can see the keypad here for their private gate it's called high gate and i'm going to show you some roadside footage just to kind of give you a glimpse but this is um i saw this property from ober gatlinburg tram this is their driveway. And you actually see the tram going down right there. There's the gate. Now look at the landscaping here. The material. There's the gate right there. Now look at the landscaping here. The materials used. They spared no expense. And it has not a million dollar view, but a $10 million view. Look at that. Every morning you step out and see the Smoky Mountains right at your doorstep. And right here they have a little gazebo type structure. Now I wish I could get closer because there is, I'm going to try to show you from here without going down there because I don't want to trespass but right down there that's a bridge and that's a separate private entrance and I saw that from Ober Gatlinburg so that bridge goes down to a roadway they have another private drive and I believe there was garages right down here somewhere if I'm not mistaken you can see the outline of the house or the garage whatever it was but it's still there there's some still some walls but this was probably top notch for um, for real estate. It's just rid ridiculously beautiful. Here it is on widescreen now. You could kind of take it all in. Downtown Gatlinburg is right down there. And you can also see the view too. Those apartment buildings I was showing just previously are just down the road. So everything's down here. You got the tram that goes by. You could see it perfectly. You can see the fall foliage changing. There's a road way down there. Gatlinburg all lit up at nighttime. Now, even though there's no buildings or structures here left, it is still cool to see, though. It is an unfortunate situation, but I'm pretty sure people that were affected by this are on to bigger and better things. I'm sure they received a good insurance payout. At least I hope so. But if this wasn't posted, I would definitely get down there and show you this in more detail. Unfortunately, it's a very busy road, as you can tell. Heavily posted. I'm sure many people know about this property. So I'm just going to show it from the roadway here. But there is one or two more I do want to show before I wrap up the video. So I got one more abandoned house here I'm gonna share with you, similar to the last one. Got the call button here, electronic gate. private driveway and in the distance just some foundations but again another gorgeous view you're isolated here very private very secluded and the only people that are coming to visit you is the mailman and the people that you buzz through the gate otherwise it's just you and the smoky mountains I do want to mention, if you want to get more information or see footage or photos from the Gatlinburg Fire in 2016, there's plenty of videos on YouTube and plenty of photos on Google. Just do a brief search, you'll be able to see 
the devastation that took place here almost four years ago. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Although we couldn't get into any structures or homes, you could just kind of picture what took place here with the devastating fire and also the homes that were affected by the fire. These were mansions, private cabins, individual houses, uh, rentals. It was a combination of things that were affected. The, the, um, the townhouses or the condominiums, everything was affected by the fire. When it comes to fire or mother nature or disasters, it's not prejudice, it affects everyone. But this is how it looks now. We're at Thanksgiving week here, 2019. In a few months, it'll be 2020, almost four years later, and it's still after effects of it. So if you guys have any information you'd like to share, you're welcome to share it in the comment section. I do love interacting with you guys, hearing your thoughts, answering your questions. More importantly though, if you enjoyed this video and a look at what took place here, please give the video a thumbs up. Lastly, I just wanna say thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.